back and let's roll. Okay, so Barry probably has something to say about this for the moment. So close and there is the email. Electrical issues. That is so weird. The hallway lights came on when you took a picture of the note. Must be a coincidence. I can't seem to open any of the doors to turn on any of the lights. Keep looking around while I try to figure this out. So his grand piece of advice is look around. Probably something spoopy. Nothing spoopy by that door. Let's go this way then. This clock I think Oh, we heard a sound. Doors opening. There we go, doors magically open for us. Inside, if I can It's like a little crack here. Probably take a picture. They closed it before I could take a picture. Now the last photo. Those look like light orbs, a common issue with our cameras. We're working on a software fix for that. Looks like the wind slightly opened the door to the living room. I've gone ahead and opened it all the way. I still can't seem to turn on any lights or open any other doors. Monitor the living room and make a photo of any evidence. Of course. Well, inside we see a... Well, it's got interesting things in it. So basically, photos of any evidence. So probably a note, because that's been evidence every time so far. Do not mean to move that. Alright. A note, a note. If I was a hidden note, where would I be? It's got interesting lighting, that's for certain. Go away. So I pulled that one. What am I looking at here? You don't see the go away sign? Come on. You have to find that a little bit suspicious. Just a little bit. Tree's broken right through here. Is the tree breaking through give you any ideas? Come on, Barry, you gotta pick up your game. I like how you can see the last picture in your camera. I don't know why I didn't like even notice that until now. There's a note. <clears throat> it was glowing, I should have figured. April 17th, 1936. Finally start to feel like normal again, for a little while anyways. I guess I drifted off for a while and awoke into the sound of those bloody birds. I decided to read my book instead, but for some reason I just couldn't concentrate at all. I flipped through the pages mindlessly. I swear I paced that room a thousand times that night, scouring fine for line and word for word and barely reading a thing. I remember laughing at the absurdity of it all. What's wrong with me? This isn't like me. I swear the wind isn't starting to whisper things. So, a book he left, he paced the room a thousand times. Before I do this, I'm gonna upload this photo. I've already added this, the archive section. Okay, Barry. Take a picture of this rumbling ass book. <laughs> Madam, it wasn't that funny. Oh, you're making it float. It's like magic, I suppose. <laughs> Give me a second, saying that to Barry. Neat camera trick, rookie. You made it look like that book is floating. Oh, come the fuck on, Barry. Must be the angle you took it from. Version 1.0 of our software is coming out shortly, which should fix the orb issue and hopefully give me back control of the lights and doors. Look for more suspicious activity while I work on saying you the upgrade. Hey, oh yeah, the clock. Right, the clock was in the other room. Lights on. Right, it's the other way this way. Upload this one for the photo collection for the family. Well, it looks like the next patch update is ready. Good luck wasting my time taking pictures of orbs now. Patch notes. Orbs issue fixed. Fish eye lens removed. 
full picture or full color pictures. Let's download the version, which leads to chapter two, the stroke of midnight. Does that mean we have an upgrade camera that doesn't look as crappy? Oh boy. Patch notes, okay. Upload last photo. Oh boy. Yay, my camera's better. Also the secret door just opened. Works for me. System manuals and auxiliary power, please return to generator. Uh, Dinner is this way. Door is thankfully open, so there we go. It's okay, generator just works as it likes to work. Let's go restart it. Archives, note. We also lost all of our berry notes for the very reason. Oh, yay. Also, our camera now is full camera -ness. Let's See what's in here now. Whenever the ghost shows up, it always fucks up our day, or the generator, it seems. Little blood stains by the bed. Let's see. No, nothing there. I want to send a picture of ourselves. Nice little fixed camera angle. Let's send that over. What am I looking at here? Okay. There's another note. I'll take a picture of that. April 19th, 1936. I decided to leave for a while today and went into town. I had a rather unsettling conversation with a police uh, constable. When he found out that I was staying alone at up in my cabin, and when I told him about the whispering sounds I was hearing, I could see the disapproving look on his eyes. With a sneer, he said, Fragile thing like you shouldn't be staying up in those woods without your husband present. Uh, smug bastard. And by telling him that I was the owner of the cabin, he probably wouldn't believe that I would afford it on my own anyway. Maybe that conversation got to me more than I realized, though. Usually my music box puts me to sleep, but I was drifting off. I swore I saw a shadow standing at my bedside. In a panic, I hurled my music box at it. I can still hear the shattering across the room. I just stood there, staring at the box, elegantly mangled between shards of glass. It will probably never sound the same again. Alright, music box. Let's do it! Upload this photo down. Don't know. Do we want another picture? Even though it looks like she's fallen over in or despair. It's a nice melody, all things considered, even if it's going in slow motion right now. Oh no, they closed the door on me. Well, that's not quite doing it. She said that she threw it around the room. Let me look at something. Archives. Stood there staring at the box. So do we just stare at it for a while? That might very well be it. Have to recharge. Was staring too long. All right, let's look around a little bit more. Then nothing there. Hmm. What a wonderful world. There's something in the mirror. Yeah. Have the last photo. You tell me, sir. Neither the doors are opening. Stare at the music box. That wasn't it. Madam! Should be here. Oh, yeah, there it is. Apparition. You know what that smoke is? 
Rookie, that's clearly just the light reflecting off the mirror. Nothing unusual about that. I managed to open up the dining room. I still have to control the lights. How are you able to keep turning them on? No, okay, let's see. Rolling from there, dining room time. Lights back on. Our little robot companion will shall see y'all. Go on, little buddy. Looks like a big room. Let's go take a look about. That's a couch. That's... Is that the door we came out of? No, the door that we came out of is over there. I mean, what's this door? Oh, is this the same room? Bad light by it, so I decided to just take a picture. I don't know if that was any good, but yeah, I didn't think so. Hey, I'm hunting, I'm looking, I'm trying to find all the cool kid things. Let me look through here. Well, that didn't lead to much of anything. Let's go this way, then. Oh, here we go. Oh. <sighs> Fucking bird. Uh, let's go take a look right on through the dining hall. It's light from the windows. There's another note. Let's read it. April 20th, 1936. I'm not paranoid, but... But something is amiss. I know it. The lights shut off tonight. At first the lights just start flickering, then told darkness. But there wasn't even a storm. Not a drop of rain outside. It's not the truth right now at all. Thank God there was a candle close by. The whispering is getting louder. But I fear it's useless to tell the local police. They would just, they would just laugh again and call me frail. Birds are my worst enemies, I'm not going to lie. In the video game birds are terrible. Candle nearby. The lights haven't gone out yet, so. We've been locked in, though. Can I take a picture of it flickering? That did work. <laughs> Complete darkness. Looking at black, you see. Oh, it's a floating candle apparition. Sigh, why is this picture so disordered? It looks like he found a new bug with the 1.0 update. These types of things are expected with software development. I was able to open up the back door, head into the backyard, and see if you can find any more graffiti. All those silly old kids pastoring ourselves with graffiti. Outside here, and here we are, right back outside. Spirit having fun out there. I'm going to assume he is, because he's sure enjoying his whispering times. Again, not what I meant to click. All right, now let's look. What I will say, graffiti was obviously right over here. I just decided to look away for a little bit. It's a pixely retroy thing. I didn't know they had graffiti like that back in the 1930s. There you go, uploaded and hada. Is that a shed? I didn't realize that there was a, that was back there. It's not in my notes. Luckily, the install crew set up a camera inside. I can open up the shed door for you. Works for me. That's a wheelbarrow. Well, there's a note. Let's take the picture. Yep. April twenty fourth, nineteen thirty six. Those scraping metal teeth. That's all I can hear. Oh god, the door, it won't stop pounding. I can open and devour me at any second. I have to keep it closed. I have to keep it closed. Can never let it out. They can't know. They won't believe. Why can't I stop shaking? Scraping metal teeth. Door, it won't stop pounding. I have to keep it closed. That's about what I expected. That flame chair. How 
do they keep getting these distorted photos? No one else is getting it, and our engineers can't reproduce it. We're working on another software update. Please look around. Keep looking around, rookie. And then the chair comes into place to keep that area closed. They're hiding something in the basement underneath the shed, of course. That's how these things work. Jeez, I did not mean to keep on doing that. Well, that's okay, though. Mm -hmm. Let's keep looking. There's a light over there. That's the light. The fuck was that? Sure is dark in here. Can't stop moving. Yeah, that was me actually. There we go. Anything else around these parts? Well, I guess I better enter in back here in the eye. Thought that's what was making the noise, but I guess not. Flickering light over here. Painting changed. Upload last photo. What am I looking at here? It's my hint. Okay, I know where that is. It's in the dining room. Puzzle picture was taken. I don't know where you're looking at, you tell me. Let's take a picture of this too, just be for safekeeping. Nothing else hidden around these parts. I'm looking. Maybe the painting's changed. Let's find out. Yep, the painting's changing. That's, of course, the mirror right over there. We're just fucking taking pictures of shovels now. Alright, what's the next area? That's the dining room, right over here, in fact. Another shovel. My shovel collection is going to be so complete. Oh, of course. I have to take care of everything, Mr. Little Robot Pal. Uh, generators right there. So let's turn the power back on, and yeah. Missed my chance. New thing, upgrades ready. What was that all about? Looks like the software engineers were being were able to fix that bug you found. I still can't op seem to open any doors though. Give me a few minutes here. Patch notes, distortion bug fix, night vision photos, HD camera. Chapter three of Vision in the Nights. I'm actually liking this game so far, I'll be honest though. It's a little bit different. We'll also obviously taking some inspiration from some evils that happen to be resident. There's that piano melody again. Night vision. Definitely that is higher quality now. Works for me. Let's take a look about so there's no pictures on. Fucking doors closing on me. Oh, I've been locked in here. Probably need to look at the piano. Yep. Upload last photo. Oh, what now? Why are you having so many camera issues? This bug sort of looks like a ghost and is in the photo. You are really frustrating a lot of people here. I just managed to open up the kitchen, take a look around in there. They're very disbelieving of ghosts, apparently. So I'm assuming the kitchen would be by the dining room, probably this way. There we go. Hmm. Well, there's the obvious note that we need to take a picture of. April 2nd, or 22nd, 1936. There's someone in the woods. I know it. I see them moving around. I hear them whispering. They've come in here, made the place their own. I shattered one of my priceless china plates today. I could hear the whispers thundering inside my head, and I just froze up. The plate slipped and fell, but the whispers aren't just inside my head. There's something watching me, gripping me. It follows me, won't leave me. This place, it's its no for longer mine, but I won't leave. I have a theory about this game I've had for a while, but I'll see if I'm right. Now then.
Find the source of the whispering is obviously going to be the next quest here. Oh, China broke. Is that the China you want? Oh, the camera's getting all blurry there. Less blurry now. The door's open again, so I think I can leave? No, it just clocked, never mind. The note said. Sure, something was watching me. Take a picture of the camera? No. Outside? Why did the camera move that way? <sighs> Upload photo. Ghost bug again? The software engineers are stumped on this. Some of the, those idiots think this is actually a ghost. There seems to be an electrical issue in the bedroom, preventing me from opening the bathroom door. Can you check it out? Sure. So, bedroom, right? Yep, there we go. I'll go out through here. Oh, there's a note here, right. Of that and you are. April 23rd, 1941. This is a few years later. I don't know why I came back to this place, but I think in a way I've never left. It's been five years. An anniversary, I guess. Five years of secrecy. Five years of living one night over and over. The only place I've been able to come for any kind of peace is this book. It's the only record, the only story. I fear for what, whoever reads this now. It should stay buried, stay quiet. I can feel the light shine down on me. And I see my reflection in the water, or maybe not my reflection. Perhaps if I can leave, I should just stay here. Nothing makes a sound out here anymore. No whispers, just peace. Is this my book? Feel the light shine down on me. Alright. Just wanted to close the door because we all knew it was coming. So, book, 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 book. That's certainly flashing. Now, the only thing we can see without the sound of the lights are back on. I see your flowing book voodoo. Oh. Up the last photo. You know, that actually does kind of look like a ghost, like a flowing dress or something. It can't be though, right? The engineers are observed are obsessed with finding out if this is actually a ghost. They're working on a new update just for you. Something called Spectral Vision. Give us a few minutes here. Thing. Am I supposed to be taking a picture of it? I don't know if I'm running or staying or what. Oh, it's got a shadow on it that shows that there's something chasing me in the dark. I ended up in a dead end room. Fuck! 
fucking shadow scared. The whisper suddenly again scared me. Fucking egg. Light. Oh, another one of these. What is that? The bedroom? Well, that's that one room I was literally just in. Alright, let's do it. Right, recharge. I forgot that limit. Let's go that way. I'm pretty sure the room that was was this way. The shovel? Yep, shovel time. Somebody buried something in the yard. That much has become obvious still, though. Let's go look this way. Let's see. That's outside, obviously. Heading on outside we go. There you go. Way out. Gotta recharge my camera, so I use my night vision to get around. Now, there's the shovel. Only a few ways to get back to where we want to go. It's pretty dark as is, so let's see what's through here. Bathroom, obviously. Alright, bathroom shows over here. And the secret in the bathroom is a shovel. Surprise, they're all shovels. And there we go, now we need to do system maintenance again. I was waiting for this. The whole moment to go out and restore power to the generator, then we'll also get our upgrade when we get over here. I'm coming, generator! Robots here to save the day! Mm -hmm. Next email. Here's that spectral vision upgrade I mentioned. Hopefully this will prove whether or not the thing is a ghost. Time to do some ghost recon. Uh, get a photo of that ghost. It could be worth a lot of money for us. Chapter 4, Murder of Crows. Ah, the bird theme comes all the way back around. Okay, I get it. Ah, heat. Does make the camera a little harder to use there. I bet they're gonna think it was just a bird. We're gonna get like a picture of a crow or something. Not one that's quick at all. I actually do that sometimes. Alright, I need to do this quickly. All the sounds. <laughs> sounds loud in here for certain. Maybe it's outside here? God fucking damn it. Uh, let's see there. Wait, is there a... There is a shadow of a crow from here. There's the next note. Oh, so that's what happened. Uh, April 24th, 1936. I I'm not sure what to do. Oh god, it's all happened so fast. Those damn crows. To hell with them. They brought this. They brought him. I heard them outside causing a commotion, and I just wanted them quiet, but when the lightning struck, I saw it. I saw my place in the ground. 
a premonition. He was coming for me. I tried frantically to get back inside, but the doors had all blown shut. The whispers were piercing. Perched atop my shoulder, I could hear him everywhere. But then I saw it. The shovel. He was coming towards me. Metal and bone, and then the body crumbling to the ground. He's still there now. Silent. The whispers have stopped. They'll never believe me. They'll say it was my fault. I have to hide him. That's what I expected. I think I know where we need to go. Maybe not. Hi, Crow. Disappeared. Oh. Places there. I saw it! Only when the lightning strikes, I think. Yeah. Last photo. What am I looking at here? You tell me, sir. They should have just given me a video camera. Shovel magic. This is a timing thing. Oh. Well, that just happened. Oh, camera somewhat shattered. That is totally a ghost. This photo is making me shudder. I need to show this to the crew. I'll be back in a few minutes. Is to what it is to what it is. All right. Chair is knocked over, which means we can now go inside the basement. Yep. I thought that was important. It's the metal teeth, whatever. Last time I checked. Spooky, scary skeletons. Epilogue, a stroll through the fog. Oh, is this actually a person? Yeah, I'm actually a person now. Didn't even enter with any camera. Get into that house and retrieve the drone for us. It's worth more than your life. Camera's falling down. Odd graffiti. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's how it rolls. Ghosts like to sort of haunt these places. Hopefully, I can hop over fences, because that's ultimately what I'm going to have to do. I dug a nice little grave here, why not? <laughs> you have to time this correctly. <laughs> She's slow. I can outwit her and run her. She does look kind of creepy though. I'll give her credit there. Fuck. Doors open. <laughs> Happy there, ma'am? That's about what I expected. No siree, ma'am. Fuck my life! It's a nice piano playing, I'm not gonna lie. That's about what we all expected. Ugh. 
Fuck everything. Okay, just going to these houses. This is pretty good. Yep. Breaking dishes for the fun. I guess to make walking sounds. Still, I liked it. Interesting little, I guess, twist on some things. For a low budget first person in the game, they did make some smart decisions. It had an enjoyable SQ story to announce some other stuff. There's one more thing that we need to look at though officer's reports. Spoilers. Officer's report. Constable Darren Burnley, April 24th, 1930. Excuse me, 1936. <laughs> At 8.36 p.m. on the evening of April 24th, 1936, a woman by the name of Mary Rosenworth entered the police station, looking noticeably distraught and panicked. She claimed that her husband, Charles Hensworth, had left the house that night after supper and had not returned. After further questioning, we were able to ascertain the following information. Charles had a history of erratic mood swings and would often leave the house to go for evening walks in the woods to clear his head, as he put it. However, he would always return to her a few hours later. There was also times when she would occasionally awake in the middle of the night to find Charles missing. Although she was concerned, he was never injured and he always seemed noticeably calmer upon his return, so she saw no reason to alert anyone if she became accustomed to his absence, despite his lack of explanations as to where he was. Their house was a small place in the fairly remote location of Forest Hill Road. Action taken. Immediately upon hearing the rendition of events from Mrs. Hensworth, I traveled to the Forest Hill Road area to question the few surrounding residents. Upon arriving at 3193 Forest Hill Road at approximately 10.30 p.m., I was greeted by the owner of the cabin, Mrs. Valerie Collins, who had recently reported that she was hearing strange sounds around her cabin, although I was unaware at the time that she was the owner and sole resident of the place. She promptly allowed me in. When I asked her about the disturbance she had reported to us earlier, I saw what seemed like a masked smile. Then she started stated that she hadn't heard anything at all that night, and had been reigning peacefully since her dinner. When asked if she had seen anyone resembling Mr. Hansworth, she, or she quickly replied with, You're the first visitor here is uh, months. I then asked Mr. Co or Mrs. Collins if I could do a quick sweep of her property. She seemed hesitant at first, and then nodded quietly. As I searched the pre or premises, she began to grow more and more uneasy, and at points became irritable. She began looking towards the front door, hoping that I would follow her lead. Upon entering the backyard, I observed what seemed to be a shovel with a dent at the bottom side of the metal portion. Before I was even able to question Miss Collins about it, she quickly spat out the words, I hit a rock while I was gardening. As I left the cabin, Miss Collins said something about an ominous that seemed out of character. She stopped me by the arm and stared coldly into my eyes. All she said was, I hope you find him, Constable. The woods are so dark, you never know what could be out there. Other than some erratic behavior, I found no reason to bring Miss Collins in for more questioning. Although I'm not completely ready to rule her out of the case all Come on, come on, seriously, just rub out suspicion to her. As of this point, the whereabouts of Mr. Bensworth are still unaccounted for. Follow-up date, May 2nd, 1941. Five years have passed since the disappearance of Charles Holmesworth. After investigating the surrounding residents of the Forest Hill Road area, we have come to what seems to be a dead end in the case. From the interviews that we have held, we've been able to learn that almost all of the residents had heard or witnessed what seemed like a thin man lurking around the woods late at night, whispering to himself in a deep voice, though no one was able to provide an accurate description of the person. Many described the figure to be around 5'8 to 5'10 in height, with a slim build similar to Mr. Hensworth. Many of them often recalled seeing the figure moving towards the direction of 3193 Forest Hill Road as well. As we found no signs of a struggle at 3193, we've been forced to rule it out as the possible location of Mr. Bedford's disappearance. The widow of the victim, Mary Hensworth, see actually seems to be adjusting well to the loss of her husband, and was noticeably happier when we interviewed her last, starting that life goes on, I guess. Current case status, though he is currently presumed to be deceased, the case of the disappearance of Mr. Charles Hensworth is still open and being investigated. Alright. This has been Shudder. I enjoyed it. Catch you guys next time. Except, of course, for those on stream, we're going to be moving on to the next thing. Apparently, I got all but one achievement, which was to beat the game super quickly, so yeah. I... <laughs>